I don't know how they do it where you live, but here in Canada, we do not have the little standalone neighborhood post offices like we used to have when I was a kid, you know, 60 years ago. What they do now is they'll let a drugstore have the franchise, and I guess the drugstore gets a little bit of commission on it. This is in the back of a drugstore here in Winnipeg, very close to home. A lot of these smaller ones are a one-man show. And I guess the one-man show was probably in the back sorting out parcels, so I was looking after myself here. Now the first scale I tried, it weighed 7,080 grams. The scale beside it, it weighed 7,100 grams. That's a difference of only 20 grams. Let's split the difference and say it weighs 7,090 grams. As well as the 790 grams, now I meant 7,090, not 100. We have to add the weight of the label. And as you can well imagine, I had a huge cleanup to do down here, and I was, didn't want to get dust and dirt on, on this thing. Now, I haven't checked it. By the way, it's about 24 hours now has passed since I mixed this up. And I haven't checked it. Well, I think it's probably going to be okay. It almost leaves a fingerprint. I would say another 24 hours and it'll be fine. What I will have to do though, is I will have to uh, sand these little bumps off the bottom here. I'm moving a little closer so you can see it. It seems to have turned out really well. Now you can't help but notice it if the light hits it just right, or maybe I should say just wrong, the unevenness here. And I was trying to think, how did I get that? I've never had that happen before. And then I thought, you know what? I'll bet you when I was doing the propane torch thing, trying to pop the bubbles, I left the flame, hit the uh, epoxy rosin just a little bit too long in some places, like right there. And it got too hot. And it sort of more or less rapidly cured. And, uh, well, you know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I'll have to be more careful next time I do the propane torch thing. Now, just in case somebody's interested, it will peel right off of the wax paper. So if ever you have to use this stuff, wax paper is the thing to use it on. Now, as well as these little bumps, which I am now 100% convinced we're caused by the extra heat from the propane torch. Right here above the letter B on tube, there's a little speck of dust. I'll zoom in here. Now this is actually going to give me an opportunity to show you what I would have done had I spotted that while the rosin was still fresh and liquidy. Now you can see it right there. And without using the microscope to see what it is, I would assume it was something that may have been sort of floating in the air, or possibly fell off the ceiling. And here's how I would have removed it. And it works really well almost every time. So what I would do here is I would take something like a little piece of Kleenex and roll it up into a point like this, and I would just touch it. And what's going to happen is the Envirotex is going to flow into the Kleenex and take the little piece of dust with it. And like I say, it works pretty much every time. Now I don't want you to be getting the wrong impression here. This thing doesn't look that bad. We're practically looking at it under a microscope here. And you're seeing every little piece of dust and every little tiny flaw. But at first glance, this label is actually very acceptable.
At least it's acceptable enough for me. Now I realize that some of you are watching that last clip and you were probably thinking to yourselves, well, fresh uh, dust particles were falling off of that clinics into the, onto the surface there. Well, yeah. However, uh, it does actually work. So I wouldn't tell you that it works if it didn't. Um, anyway, what I'm doing now is, you know how when you're sanding oak, uh, there's always places that no matter how much you sand it down, there's going to be uh, uh, porous areas that are going to be exposed, like right there. You can, you can feel it. And what I want to do is I want to look really close, right there. And uh, we'll just take and check and see, uh, did the wipe on poly actually completely seal everything? In other words, if I was to put a drop of water there instead of a little, a little nut, uh, would the drop of water absorb into the wood? Or would it just sit there on top and evaporate? Okay, my hope is, as the reflection changes in the bottom of the grooves, we'll be able to see if the wipe on poly is there or not. Now this may work, or it may not work. Well, I'll know as soon as I get upstairs and edit this out. Well, yes, I think it worked. And if I slow the video down as much as I can at the right place, you can see that the wipe on poly has worked its way right down to the bottom of the grooves, and a drop of water would not soak into the wood. I am very happy with this wipe on poly. It's actually the first time that I've given it a serious try, and I'm definitely going to be using it again. Oh well, people aren't going to be looking at the bottom anyway. But I think it's pretty straight. And this is the top. Okay, try and remember, 81 grams, because we got to add that to the weight. Now I have to remember to subtract the weight of these little pieces. Okay, remember this is the top. And my plan is to just take it down most of the way with the electric drill, then the rest of the way by hand.
and I want to remember don't go tight because it could crack just snug As of 7 p.m. last night, Sunday night, there were 32 people who had commented and guessed the weight. Now the actual weight, give or take a few grams, was 7,181 grams. Now that works out to 15 pounds and 13.3 ounces, almost 16 pounds. Um, a lot of you were extremely close. In fact, in my mind, I had thought it was over 17 pounds. And uh, so some of you were closer than that. Anyway, <laughs> yeah, and I got to actually pick it up. However, this series has finally come to an end. And some of you commented uh, pretty well every single episode. Thank you very much. Thank you for your loyalty. I don't know what the next uh, series is going to be, but I hope you watch. And as far as this series goes, thank you for watching.